This is Activity 10, Chapter 18, EAS. You need to know that electron donating groups are activating groups that attack on the ortho and para position with preference of the para position when an activator is present. You also need to know that electron withdrawing groups are deactivators and direct next reactions onto the meta position, except for halogens, whose directory is for the ortho para position. For part one, a through C, you need to predict the final product and make a reasonable mechanism for each. My method is identifying and knowing what the reactant and the reagents do. For part A, the reactant is a moderate activator, which means that the reaction will favor a para position. The reagents are a Fredel-Craft alkylation. Now, for Fredel-Craft alkylation, we need to make the electrophile. Alkyl halide will attack the FeBr3 to make a carbocation and the FeBr4. Remember to make a carbocation rearrangement if possible. The pi bond of the benzene will attack the electrophile, breaking aromaticity, and leave a positive charge on the ring. You can show resonance where the oxygen carries the positive charge, which is more stable than the carbon. FeBr4 will deprotonate the hydrogen to restore aromaticity. Remember, when this happens, you may need to use more arrows to follow the octet rule. Next one is part B, and again, you may want to identify the reactants and the reagents. The reactant is a weak deactivator whose directory will favor power position. The reagents are for a halogenation, making the electrophile by using the Br2 attacking the FeBr3 to get you the FeBr4 and the electrophilic Br. The pi bond on the benzene ring will attack the electrophile Br, breaking aromaticity and leaving a positive charge on the ring. FeBr4 will deprotonate the hydrogen on the ring and restore aromaticity, getting you the final product. Again, for part C, identify the reaction and the reagent. For part C, the reactant is a strong deactivator, which means that the reaction will favor the meta position. The reagents are for a nitration. Remember from the previous activity that we need to make the electrophile, and for a nitration, it is the nitronium ion. To get this, the acid is depronated by the HNO3 to get you an intermediate. There, we will lose water as a loss of leaving group to get you the nitronium ion. The pi bond on the benzene ring will attack the nitronium ion, breaking the aromaticity and leaving a positively charged on the ring. Water will be used to deprotonate the hydrogen from the ring and restore aromaticity, and getting your final product. For part two, in the presence of multiple substituents on the benzene ring, the strongest activator will determine where the EAS reaction will occur next. Predict that the following will be directing the next EAS reaction at the orthopara or meta site. Circle the carbon atoms where the substituation will take place. For the first one, there is a moderate activator attached on the benzene ring, which means that this is an orthopara directory with preference to the para position. So we will circle the para position of the activator. The next one to the right is a strong activator on the benzene ring, which means that this is meta directing. We circle the two meta positions because we don't know which one it would attach to, but either would work. The third one from the top is a moderate deactivator, which also means that this will be a meta directory. Again, we circle the two meta positions. The fourth one on top had a moderate activator, which is an orthopara directory with preference the para position. So you circle the carbon on the para position. The last one from the top has a moderate activator and a strong deactivator. You need to remember that an activator will always take preference, so the moderate activator will be orthopara directory with preference of para position. For the first one on the bottom row, we see a moderate deactivator and a weak activator. Again, the activator will take preference and will circle the para position from the weak activator. The second from the bottom has a moderate deactivator and a moderate activator. Activators have more preference, so we circle the carbon in the para position from the moderate activator. The third one from the bottom, you have a moderate activator connecting both benzene rings a moderate deactivator on the second benzene ring. We know that activators have more preference, so we're just going to look at the moderate activator. We're going to choose the para on the left side, 
because there's less competition compared to the right side benzene ring where you have a activator and a deactivator competing. The last one from the bottom, there is again two benzene rings with several groups attached. You have a weak activator attached onto the left benzene ring and a moderate deactivator attached between both benzene rings and finally a moderate deactivator on the right benzene ring. Activators have more preference, so you would circle the ortho power position with the preference on the para position of the weak activator. However, you can see that the para position is occupied, so you move on to the ortho position. So you would circle both the ortho position carbons from the weak activator. For part 3, propose a synthetic strategy for the following transformation, and be mindful for the limitations that there are for certain reactions. For these reactions, what I will first look at is the position that the final product has its groups attached to. This will tell you a lot of the first reagents being used. Then I will check to see the reagents of each group that's attached to the benzene ring and make sure that the order on how I add them will not break any rules, such as Radel's Crafts restrictions. For A, you can see that the final product has two groups attached on the benzene ring and they are in the meta position. This means that we need a deactivating group reagent first to make the next addition on the meta position. Both groups attached on the benzene ring are deactivators. You have the addition of nitration and the Fredo's craft alkylation. To know which one comes first is to remember the limitation that some reactions have. Be mindful about the rule how Fredo's crafts will not work if there is a moderate or strong deactivating group already attached to the benzene ring. This means that nitration cannot be added first because when it's added, then the Fredo's craft won't be able to add because you already have a strong deactivator connected on the benzene ring. So we first need to do the Fredo's craft alkylation and then do the nitration. Fredo's craft alkylation will get you a moderate deactivator. Then nitration will attack on the meta position of the moderate deactivator, giving you the final product. For part B, the groups are on the ortho position from each other, which means that you will need an ortho para directoring reagent first. Both groups are ortho para directoring, so it wouldn't matter which one you add first. However, once you add the first one, you will have a problem since the next step will be adding onto the para position. The solution is simple. You need to block the position using concentrated H2SO4. So first, you will do either Fredo's craft alkylation or halogenation. I will add on the Fredo's craft alkylation first. Then you will block the power up position with concentrated H2SO4, written as H2SO4 fuming. Then you use halogenation to add bromide onto the ortho position of the weak activator. Take off the blocking group using diluted H2SO4. This gets you your final product. For part C, the final product group are meta from each other. This again tells us the first reagents need to produce a meta directoring group. So you have an amine group and an alkane group attached onto the benzene ring. Neither of these are meta directoring, so you will need to think about the functional group that change directoring effects. The only relationships that an amine has is nitration. This is when a nitro group can be reduced to make an amine. This alkane can be made by a reduction on a Fredo's craft acylation. So I would now think all the possible groups, nitration, amine, alkane, and Fredo's craft acylation. Nitration and Fredo's craft acylation are the only ones that are meta directory. This means that one of these will be used first. Keep in mind of every limitation. We know that Fredo's craft cannot work when a strong slash moderate deactivators are present. This helps us because that means that the nitration would not go first. So you would first do Fredo's craft alkylation, then do nitration, which will be added on the meta position. You will finally reduce both the nitration and the carbonyl with the same reagents to get you the final product. For part D, look at the final product and you will see that the groups are in the meta position from each other. And both groups are Fredo's craft alkylation, which means that they both are meta directoring. However, you can only add it once since the product of the first addition will give you a moderate deactivator and Fredo's craft alkylation will not work with a moderate deactivator connected to the benzene ring. The only hint given is Grignard's, which means that there must be a halogen. So first, you would do the Fredo's craft alkylation and then do the halogenation adding of a bromide in the meta position. 
Then you will reduce the carbonyl with NaBH4 to get you into a secondary alcohol. Grignards don't work with alcohol, so you need to protect the alcohol using TMSCL. Once it's protected, then you will use Grignards reagent to attack on the acetaldehyde to get the secondary alcohol where the bromide was. You unprotect the alcohol using acid. Then you will use PCC to reduce both the secondary alcohols to get you to the final product. For part A, they want us to fill in the reagents to get you to the next step. For the first box, we see that bromide was added, so this must be a halogenation. Remember, you can either use FeBr3 or AlBr3. The next box, you can see that nitration occurs and it will attach in the para position because of the para directory bromide. So you need to know the reagents of nitration, HNO3 and H2SO4. The next box, it tells you oxygenation reaction, which is a nucleophilic attack substitution. So we would use NaOME. For the final box, it turns a nitro into an amine, so this is a reduction of a nitro. So here you would use Zn in HCl. For part B, they want you to fill in the product of every reaction. For the first box, the reagents are for a halogenation, so this means that a chloride will be added onto the benzene ring. The next box is a Grignard's reagent attacking an epoxide. This should be reviewed from previous chapters of epoxides. Grignard will attack the less substituted side of the epoxide and opening the epoxide. Workup will get you the alcohol at the end. Next, the alcohol looks like it was oxidized, so you would use PCC. Finally, this is a Gilman's reagent, where you will attack the carbon on the carbonyl and use water to do workup. This should give you the final product.